Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how we can redirect the output of a process either into a file or into another process. So before we begin, do not forget to subscribe so that you do not miss on any of the upcoming videos on this channel. So the objectives for today are, first we are going to learn how to redirect the output of a process into a file. You already might be familiar with the use of this greater than sign or double greater than sign which are used to redirect the output or append the output to a file. But we are also going to learn something new in which we will be redirecting the standard error also towards a file. Next we are going to learn about the use of pipes which will help you to control the output of a process and send them or redirect it into another program rather than into a file. We are going to redirect the output of one process into another process. So these are the two things that we are going to cover today. Now the first thing how to redirect the output to a file. Three things to remember here are standard input stream, standard output and standard error. These are the three channels which are reserved for getting the input from the standard input device, redirecting the output to a standard output device and redirecting the error to a standard error device. Now this diagram clarifies how these three channels work and what are the channels apart from these three. So you can see in the diagram that the standard input STD in it uses the channel 0 and this channel is reserved for taking the input only. Now once this input is received by the process two things can happen either it can get a output or it can throw an error. If it is an output then the channel uses the number one channel. If there is an error then the process uses channel number two to redirect the error message. Now depending upon the device that you are using the standard output or the standard error will be redirected to that particular device. In a normal system the standard output as well as the standard error both are redirected onto the terminal only because we know that we have only one output device attached to a laptop for example. All right? Although we can have different output devices like you might have terminal for the standard output and you might have a printer for getting the standard error. Now apart from these three channels 0, 1, 2 which are reserved there are other channels from where the process can either receive the input or send the output. All right. So for all the user created files, the channel numbers or the file descriptors used are 3 and above. So you can see now the direction which is very important to note here. For standard input, the direction is towards the process. This means the process is going to receive the input on the standard input channel only. The process can only send the data out on std out and std error means standard output and standard error channels. Whereas in case of all other channels that is 3, 4 and 5 and above, the process can either receive the data or send the data to these particular channels. That is the process can either read the data from the files or send the data to the user created files. Now this will summarize everything. Now the first use is to redirect the standard output to a file. Just look at the diagram. Just focus on this part. All right. We are focusing on here, on this part. We are redirecting the standard output onto a file. In the default scenario that I have shown you, standard output is automatically going on where? Default is what? The terminal. But now we want to change that from a terminal to a file. Okay. So you don't want the output of a process to be displayed on the screen but you want it to be saved into a file. So how we can do it? Use the greater than sign and then the file name. Now let us suppose that I use the command ls and I get the output on the terminal. Now I do not want the output to be displayed on the terminal. Rather I want it to be saved into a file named result.txt. See, there is no output on the terminal. Where it is? If I open the result.txt file, it contains the entire list. 
okay this is what you mean by redirecting the send output into a file the second use is you redirect the output into a file but you do not overwrite the existing contents okay we are going to append the contents to the existing contents of a file the only difference will be now we are going to use the double greater than sign so now we have just saved the output of ls into the file result.txt now if i run the date command and again redirect into result.txt it is saved if i view the contents it just contains the date all right the entire ls output is overwritten because that is the default behavior of single redirection sign now if i don't want to do this i want to append the contents what I should do, I should use double redirection. So let us suppose this time I want the results of calendar to be appended to whatever is there in result.txt. Cat result.txt, and you can see this is the original content with the date output, and then the output of calendar is appended. And the third use of redirection is now you do not want the output. To be saved to a file but you want that if there is an error that error should not be displayed on the screen it should be saved into a file so see the change here this time the output is on the screen on the terminal whereas the standard error is saved into a file so this time we are going to write two and then greater than sign and then the file name. now what i mean by this is let us suppose that i want to list a file to a D. If it does not exist, then the process ls is going to throw me an error, right? Now the error is coming on the screen. But what I want, I want this error not to be on the screen, but I want it to be redirected towards a file error.txt. All right. Nothing on the screen, but if I view the contents of error.txt, the error is there. Now, you don't want to either display the error on the screen, nor you want to save it into a file. So the option is use to greater than sign. And now here, instead of giving the name of file, you give the path of this null file. Which is saved in the dev directory so you write slash eb slash null you can see that now sender error will be discarded nothing will be saved so same query this time i will not write error.txt but i will write here slash dev slash null you don't get anything on the screen if i try to view the contents of the eb null sorry null there's nothing here also this means that the error is discarded altogether now the fifth one is what if you want both the standard output as well as the standard error to be saved into a file so you want to write something common so that even if it is success or a failure of the process in both the cases the output is saved into the file and nothing we should come on the screen or the terminal now how to do it so let us suppose i again want to do ls and any name of a file i want to search now I, it doesn't matter whether it is there or not it should get redirected into the file common.txt all right i don't know whether it is there or not so whatever it was either success or failure the message would be in common.txt so let's view what is there common dot txt this time it was a error message now let us see if what if the file existed okay so i'll just view the contents so i have a lot of files let's write now ls data dot txt which is one of the existing files again i will write ampersand sign greater than sign to common dot txt Again, there's nothing on the screen. If I view the contents of common.txt. This time, the file name is there in the common.txt file. So either there's an error or 
uh, output both are going to be redirected into the same file the last way to redirect is you want to combine stand output and stand error into a file plus you want to append it to the existing contents of the file the syntax is double redirection file name space two redirection sign ampersand sign and one now let us see how it works so i want now to redirect the output of let us suppose ls and now the file name is man which i know does not exist so i will write double redirection sign the file name so file name is common.txt then two it then sign ampersand sign in one okay let's view common.txt and the error is saved here and it is appended to the original content again if the file does exist it does exist let's suppose the file is data.txt again it gets appended to the existing content now some of you might try to do this they might try to use ls let's put the file name and then try to append it like this common.txt okay this seems to be a natural choice because once we try to redirect only the send output we use the double redirection only okay so why not this so i will leave it up to you to find out under what situation this doesn't work all right now it's time to test our understanding so the first question is concatenate three files into one so the answer was pretty simple use the cat command space file one space file two name space file three name redirect single redirection into the new file that you want okay so it will go something like this cat let us suppose the file names are these redirect into one let us suppose this is the new one second question is now execute the command ls in such a manner that the output is stored in a file named true while the error is saved in a file false so send output stream should go into the file named true and send error stream should go into the file named false Now next we are going to learn about pipes. So pipes is nothing but it is a way to redirect the output of a process which will act as the input of another process. So you can see here process 1 the send output is getting through this pipe and it acts as standard input for the new process. So nothing gets displayed on the terminal, nothing gets stored into a file. The output of one process becomes the input of another process. How to do it? You need to use this pipe symbol. This is a or sign. The key above enter. Not a slash, but the key above enter. So you need to use shift and the key above enter. Now let us see how it works. So I'll give you a small example. If you want to count how many files are there in your current working directory, what will you do? So the procedure will be that you will redirect ls redirect this output into a file let us suppose file 1 then you will execute the wc command wc on this file 1 and the wc command is going to tell you okay there are 59 lines 59 words and 372 characters in the file 1 now this becomes a two command job what if I want to reduce this to a single command? What I can do is I can simply write ls, use pipes, and then write wc. Now, what this means that the output of ls is working as an input of wc. So, wc gets the input not from the file but directly from ls, and we get the same result. Okay, if you want to further filter this result, 
to count how many lines are there simply use the minus l option and you get 59 lines it is not compulsory that you use pipe only to connect two processes you can even connect three four any number of processes for example we can do something like this ls then we can sort this using the sort command in the reverse order and then use the head command to print the top 10 lines so you can use pipe n number of times plus you can also combine pipes and redirection so for example i want ls word count and then redirect this into a file named file 1 so now my result of wc which counted how many number of lines words and characters are in the output of ls it has saved it into the file file 1 so let's view file 1 the contents are saved here now it is time to test yourself so the first question is display the top five files or directories means i want the top five output lines according to their size in the current working directory so this is what you are required to do ls sort the output based on the size using the minus capital s option pipe it with the head command minus n top five lines there's your answer the next question is write the command to display the fifth line of a file now i am not going to discuss this particular answer so i want you to explore and share your answers in the comment section so this was all about how to use redirection and pipes as usual keep watching keep sharing and do subscribe to this tutor see you in the next class take care